Welcome to Business Innovators Radio, featuring industry influencers and trendsetters sharing proven strategies to help you build a better life right now. Inspired by Vanessa, she is a direct sales expert, best-selling author, mindset coach, and speaker. Welcome, Vanessa. Hello, how are you? I'm great. I'm really excited to talk to you. Let's just get right into our conversation. Who do you help? Wow. I help those who are looking for more out of life, meaning they have this great job or they have a job where they see themselves no longer growing but they're looking for something else and they just don't know where to go, how to start. And so I love to be able to help them for many of reasons um, because I know what it felt like not having any guidance or blueprint after I experienced the entrepreneurial world after I was laid off in 2011 and um, I couldn't find a job for two years. (laughs) And so I stepped into the role of being an entrepreneur, scared and all, Um, But I was willing to do the work. I no longer wanted to be that person who um, has to crawl back to corporate America, um, and I was barely making it as is, even though I've been doing it for 20 years. I did not want to see myself doing the same thing over and over again, over and over again, and I was stuck. I was broke on so many levels. And so I'm ready to help those people um, that's ready to grow. They don't want to see themselves continue to do this this thing of not growing um, on a job, um, and they're ready to go to that next level. That's really interesting because you said a couple key words there. So you were actually laid off from corporate America in 2011, and then you mm-hmm. said it took you two years to, I guess, figure it out. And you said mm-hmm. the words broke, and maybe mm-hmm. I added this, but broken on so mm-hmm. many levels. And I yeah. think that's really interesting because so many people, they get into the mindset that a job is security. And the mm-hmm. reality is having a job is probably the least secure thing you can mm-hmm. do because you are at the beck and call of someone else who Mm -hmm. may not even see you as a human or a human Mm -hmm. being. They may just see you as, oh, yeah, that's the person who comes in and I don't know what she does. That always Mm -hmm. happened to me. They didn't know what I did, so they did not value me. Mm -hmm. So when you help people to make this transition, what, what are some of the problems that the people you help have or even if they're not even real problems, but they think they have this problem, what are the problems and how do you solve these issues for them? Well, one of the things that a lot of people that I've noticed, and I've done it myself because I only could speak about what I've experienced, right? And so I've noticed that a lot of people already have the mindset as if that's not possible. That is not possible for me to have X, Y, and Z or to live X, Y, and Z or to do X, Y, and Z. That's not possible. Why? Because I don't have a degree. Why? Because, you know, I don't do the math. You know, I don't know how to calculate something up. It's just like the most silliest things, and we have to really change that mindset. I'm huge on the way we think. And so – I'm willing to be able to go deeper. Let's go deeper um, to be able to know that you don't have to do the matrix, meaning all over the place, right? I want to do this. I want to do this. I want to do that. But that's not possible. You're self-sabotaging your worth. So let's get deeper. Let's go into the mindset of how you want to be able to see yourself and remove all of this negative, this toxic stuff. that somebody implanted in you and you received it. And so now you're speaking it to your being, right? And Mm -hmm. so that's huge for me. And I did it. When when all the money was coming in, I was like, oh, wait a minute, hold on. I self-sabotaged because I did not give myself permission to be successful. Why? Because majority are taught to get up, get them a job, and go to school because that's what people tell them to do. And they just do what average folks do. But then this is not the average world anymore. 
People are losing their jobs left and right. They don't know what it is to invest in themselves. They don't know what it is to be able to say there's opportunities in the land of the United States, but then you're not taking those opportunities. But if you don't see that opportunity, that you know that it's possible to create that opportunity. So let's go deeper. And that's what I'm about. I, I think that's really important. So if, and I'm sure we could probably talk all day about why people don't believe that they can have whatever it is they want because we live in, in a, the reality is we live in an abundant universe and we could do whatever we want. And Absolutely. I know a lot of us, you know, we were told, especially women, we were mm-hmm. told we could do anything, but then when we got out into the real world, we kept running into that proverbial glass ceiling, mm-hmm. and we made 72 cents on the dollar to what a mm-hmm. man. We had to be better than a man in the same job, have a higher education, mm-hmm. and also be responsible sometimes you know, for the house, the kids, mm-hmm. everything. And so sometimes we you know, you get worn out. And then when we do come up for air and the world is like saying, Hey, you can be or do whatever you want. We stop Mm -hmm. ourselves. Like you said, self sabotage. So maybe give us a few tips on how to open up and see our opportunities and how do we move into the, new opportunities that are presented to us and how, you know, what are some things that we can do that are tangible and real? Do research. Stop taking what somebody done told you and research it. Research it for yourself. As much time we spend on social media, spend some time researching, educating yourself. The importance of educating yourself outside the classroom and the um, in the office is important. The the education does not stop; it's always going right. So do the research, and then go and be able to do research not only on that business but do research on that person. You know what I mean? Do you understand? Just like if you're applying for a job, that job you want to be able to know the background of this job that you're applying for. The same right. thing apply in business. Put your HR hat on. You know what I mean? You just don't accept anything that somebody done told you without doing your research. That's so important. And so you have to see yourself as being a success. See yourself as that. So that means if you wake up every morning, you wake up with an intention that you are going to reach that next goal, whatever that may be. No matter if you're scared and, 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 and hesitant or somebody doesn't support you in your circle, you do it anyway. You do, do it not, anyway. <laughs> right, do it anyway. You do not need the validation of somebody else to tell you that you're successful when you wake up every day with the intention on being successful. And you are not afraid to do the work, right? You have to be able to do the work. Yes, we do live in a life of abundance, but are you willing to take action so you can be able to, to be able to appreciate the fruits of your labor. You know what I mean? You cannot get on the track and expect to win if you have any intended practice. Right. I remember what you said, taking action. I remember one time uh, I have a little house and it looked like it was going to flood. So the renter, I said to the renter, I said, help me fill up these sandbags and put them around the perimeter of the house so Mm -hmm. that it doesn't flood. She says, oh, no, I can't help you do that. I'm going to go to the church and pray that it doesn't flood in my little house. So I was praying as I filled the sandbags that it wouldn't flood in the little house. And I think that's kind of the difference. I, that's kind of a graphic illustration of how some people are. They pray, dear God, help me, but then they do nothing. And then they oh wonder why they don't ever get anywhere. Oh, my goodness. You you hit it on the coffin. That's it. That that There we go right there. A lot of people say that. Well, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and pray about that. And if I get a sign from the Lord that, you know, I could go ahead and move forward. So let, let me, let's, let's go there. <laughs> <laughs> what is the sign? 
to me, a sign is that, dear God, please help me find a new job. And I get the idea, well, Tammy, um, in order for you to get the new job, you better learn how to type. Or you, you need to go to school and take that course in learning how to do hair or fingernails or uh, social media. You know, that to me, that's the sign that where I get a, an inkling or, or a motivation to go learn, just like you said, to do the research and then apply it because it is it doesn't do us any good to do like a lot of education and learning if we never apply it to what exactly. it is that we're doing. So you, you're yes. absolutely right. And you also said something else that really hit me because I think every person who's an entrepreneur has experienced it. And that is your friends, your family, your children, your spouse, grandma, everybody when they say to you, why don't you just go find a job? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you're mm -hmm. like, oh, my God, I'm, 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 you feel it because you know that you're just working so hard and mm -hmm. you're trying to grow and learn and apply so that you can create this life for your family and other people, they don't see it. And it's like, hurry up, bring that money in. You know, we, we need it. Well, mm -hmm. yeah, you need it, but – but the difference between a, you know, minimum wage job and being an entrepreneur can be thousands, hundreds, or even millions of dollars. Mm -hmm. And it's all about, like you said, the mindset. Uh, let's talk a little bit more about um, some other concrete ways that you can help people. Well, one one of the one ways, and you said it where where people think they cost an arm and a leg, thousands of dollars to be able to start their business. That's not necessarily true. We have to know that there are so many ways that you could be able to start the business. People are setting up, you know, trying to get loans. They're trying to get GoFundMe. They're trying to do all this stuff. But if you just really think about it, and you spent six hundred dollars on that cell phone. $600. Do you know you could have started your business? Yeah. And that's a tax loan. You know what I mean? I started my business with $400. How did I start my business with $400? I built my business while I was collecting my unemployment checks and been blessed enough to not look back. And that's why being a single mother, not having the support from none of my family, barely any of my friends because my circle was already uh, small, but from social media alone, you, I received so many rave reviews because of, I share my story. I did not stop. Right. And so now that I have the amazing direct sales business that I have at home, that's one stream of income. Right. But then I turned around and built my speaking, my speaking platform. Now, here's another one. But it started somewhere. And that was that four hundred dollars that I had. And that was hard doing that with unemployment. That's hard. But what if you if it's so easy, everybody will be doing it. This is not the lottery. This is not right now gratification. This is something that I have to be able to put the brick in the mortar in order to build this business. So I have to be able to invest in myself, which was the $400, to turn around and now have not only my direct sales business, my speaking, I am a best-selling author, I'm coaching, I am on, um, speaking on blog talks and radios, and people are calling me to travel to different kind of work. That only took place in three years. Three years. But right. what if I need to do what everybody else want me to do? It's not about them. What are you leaving for your children? Because they say the economy in the next three to five years is going to hit again. Are you honestly prepared that you would not be the next one? Because the reality is majority of people are day away from being homeless themselves. So That's really where true. You, you know what I mean? Where are you really investing your money? Are you investing your money in Jordan's, but you're making him a billionaire? Are you continuing to invest in the iPhones and you have Apple already making billions, but you're not getting anything, right? So when people are putting up these songs, you're the first ones to buy the songs. But are you, getting any, are you reaping any of the rewards? Are you turning around and telling somebody about a deal that's going on at a store, but you're not, what, reaping none of the rewards? You need to understand that you have to be able to get with an affiliate, direct sales, Something that could be able to give you a back-end payment called residual income. 
I had no clue what the heck residual income was, but I was willing to learn it. That's really interesting. So you do direct sales, and I have heard from very high-level people that direct sales are the relationship marketing, right? When direct that, sales, yes. people to people, mm -hmm. that they yes. say that that is the fastest growing form yes, of business is. and it's the quickest way for individuals to mm -hmm. become wealthy and to support themselves. And I imagine finding the right The thing. right one. Yes, <laughs> the right one. For your personality, because I, I have experienced some direct sales and I was successful to to a degree but not not to you know enough to keep doing it and it was because it wasn't the right fit for me personally mm -hmm. but I mean I I make my living doing what would be called local marketing and mm -hmm. I help people become authorities so it's an online virtual real world type of a business but when mm -hmm. the reality is when I think about it it is a form of relationship yes, marketing direct sales mm -hmm. so what would you suggest to people because I think you brought up a really good point um, you have to look at the reality of life that you could lose your job tomorrow and I hey I one time left my job I gave them being the good person, I gave them 14 days notice, a full two weeks, you know, because well, I even counted Saturday and Sunday. And you know what they did to me after 10 years? And the reason I left is because they wouldn't give me my little 3% raise. And it was hmm. like, I, I need, you know, I need to make more money. And I was just tired. So I went and found a job that paid a lot more. And when I gave them 14 days notice, you know what they did to me? They escorted me to the door as if I had done something wrong when in oh. fact I was doing everything right I was their top editor I was you know I was a leader all I wanted was them to say hey thank you here's your three percent raise instead mm -hmm. of jerking me around like they kept doing and they es escorted me to the door so everybody thought oh my God, she must have done something really, really bad. And to this day, some of those people won't even friend me on Facebook and I didn't even do anything. But, I, but it's but them, not happen? me. You know, that, you know why it happened, right? Why? You know, you know why it happened? Why? Because I needed to be doing something else. <laughs> not only that, it's because when somebody invests in you, they could control you. Right. That's what so, that is. So tell me a little bit more about um, finding the right fit in a direct sales type situation. What would you look for in a good opportunity? Well, there's tons of them out there from my understanding, and that's weird. <laughs> I didn't know nothing about this. I, I, know, I didn't know anything about direct sales. And so now all of these things are popping up, and they're like, they've always been there, I guess. I don't know. What I will suggest that people look is, does it make sense? Does it make sense? You know, um, are, are the person who showed you the business or presented the opportunity, can you build a relationship with them? You know what I mean? That's important to me. Building relationships are so, so important. Because I don't want to just call you, just say, how's your business going? This is what you need to do. What? No, no, no. How are you doing? How's the family doing? Because things will happen. You know what I mean? If something happened to me right now, I want my, my team to be able to know that I, I could be comfortable enough. My team got me. They got my back because I have okay. the, I have them, right? So, very so look for people who are sincere, authentic, and who exactly. actually will care about you mm -hmm. as if you were a member, blood member of yes. your family. Yes, okay. not a number. Not another number. You don't want to be somebody's number. You right. know what I mean? And so um, that's important. And then also you want to be able to have a person to be able to push you. You know okay. what I mean? 
you want a person that will be able to push you. So if you say that your goal is that you want to make X, Y, and Z type of income, let's hurry up and get you to that income. And okay. make sure that you are available. That person is available to be able to answer those questions if you do have someone who's interested. That's important. So they're like a mentor, coach, a mentor. personal Absolutely. trainer, yes. a mom. <laughs> and so, so. You know, I've built amazing relationships with people all over the world. And so, it, I mean, I just do it because I know what it felt like to be out there on your own, on the limb, and you just like, dang, is this really going to work? And I'm going to be somebody else's number. You know what I mean? You have to, it just has to make sense. You got to be cautious of how you treat people because karma is real. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And so that's important. So if I'm talking to my team and we have a, a conversation or there's something that's going on in their personal life, wait a minute, we need to support them. Period. You need to support them because it could be you next who needs some support. Right. Right. So, and right. So, so I'm big on that. Judgmental, ju- yes. non-judgmental, loving support. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's important. And then make sure that you like on the um, what is the thing called DSA DSA Direct Sales Association dot org. Make sure that you because there's a lot of stuff that's out there that's not legit. Make sure you go to the DSA and make sure that that company is legit. DSA.org. Okay, that's yes. Mm -hmm. Make sure you go in there and make sure that it's legit. So it makes sense to me. So I'm not a makeup person, right? If I I want to be able to do something that's in makeup, it makes no sense to me. I had I did something that made sense to me that was allowing me to be able the the bills that I'm already mad about, (laughs) and I gotta pay, but. I can never pay these bills off. So you telling me I can pay my bills every month and I'm still receiving residuals off of it? Oh, now we can have a conversation, right? That's okay. important to me, you know? So that's one of the things that caught my attention because I pay these same bills every single month. That's that makes caught a my lot attention. of sense. So, so I mean? Look- so look for an opportunity that makes sense to you. And in, in the case that you're talking about, you're talking about a, a, a program where you're, you're um, going to make money off of things you would always normally have to buy anyway, like what, telephone exactly. service, TV cable, yes. electricity, things like exactly. that. Exactly. Okay. Yes. So, and the business has grown so much. It's grown, oh, my God. That's all they had when I started this business. It's grown so much. We're in wellness. We are in travel. We are in now uh, financing, commercials. And we, my goodness. Wow, it that's makes, pretty cool. Yes. So it's like I would rather be with a company that's constantly growing, and I could constantly grow right along with this company. I could still be able to do the other things that I love with my speaking and my, my coaching and my business and all the other good stuff. I can still do all of those things, and I have support from the company. How can you go wrong with that? Right. How, oh, you know, like you said, you have to wait to get 3% raise. I remember those. You were working my butt off all year, and I got to wait next year to be able to get 3% evaluation, which is tax money. <laughs> oh, it, no. it, it was awful. And one time, yeah. I remember it was, a, it was a 50 cent raise, and so I don't even think it was three percent, whatever fifty cents was, it was like twelve dollars to twelve dollars and fifty cents. And mm-hmm. I was supposed to get it and they literally kept putting me off for fifty cents an hour and six yep. months went by and they said, Oh, we're gonna make your raise active. I said, Well what about the retroactive? Because you yep. told me you were giving oh no, we can't do that. And it was like every time I would turn around, I just felt more used and abused and unloved. And I think that yep. that's really important in our work and in business is you've got to feel that love or appreciation like like you are not a number, like, like what you said, exactly. and have that family support. So mm-hmm. I think that's really important. So when you do your speaking – um, obviously, you have a f- fantastic story that you can mm-hmm. tell and share with people. Yeah. So when you go out and speak, what are your speaking topics? 
Oh, my goodness. Um, I speak about so many things. It also depends if it makes sense. <laughs> that you always want to do something that makes sense just so I can speak on something. So one of the biggest things that I speak about is um, the shift, you know, you know, the shifting, the shifting on whatever level that may be. Um, sometimes people don't understand that um, life could, is, is interesting. You never know what's <laughs> thrown. You know what I mean? You never know what's thrown out there into the world. But you have to remember, you have to um, stay grounded. You have to stay grounded. You have to be able to listen to the silence of the voice within. You have to be able to um, allow yourself to be uncomfortable so you can grow because when you're comfortable, you're complacent and you're broken, right? So that's important just to be able to understand the shift. I love to be able to empower others with my message that, yeah, I come from, uh, I come from a rough background. But I, I embrace my purpose now. The doors of corporate America close for a reason. And just to be able to educate others that that could be you too, you know. Um, being a single mom, being a single parent is the most hardest job ever. But we are some strong women, very, very strong women. And even though people want to put us on a back border like corporate America, like you said earlier, how we get paid less, but we work, the, we work our butts off. And then we come home and take care of our family. That's why more and more people are, are working for women, especially, are working more for themselves, especially in the direct sales industry, and why our direct sales and Forbes are writing us up now and letting us know, that other people know, that's the industry you need to be in because you can do it all. You can be able to live that better life, and you can be able to be available for your family. That's important. That's very important. I think it's, it is important. It's always been important. But it, it seems like today, because of the fact that our families are kind of fragmented, uh, you know, like it used to be back in the day when it, the, you had a support system, you had grandma, grandpa, brothers, sisters, and everybody stayed in the little communities. And mm -hmm. now everybody just, they live all over the world. And, and grandma yeah. and grandpa might be in Florida and you're somewhere in, you know, up north somewhere. And then, of course, it see, social media uh, makes it so that we can connect with a lot of people. Right. But at the same time, we're disconnected uh, still because, you know, people go into a restaurant, sit across from one another and not have a conversation because they're on their phone talking yeah. to one another. And one of the things that I noticed about a lot of direct sales organizations is that they really do emphasize reuniting the family and oh. having a solid foundation and creating legacies for the mm -hmm. family and having not only women come back into the home, but, you know, it allows men to come back into the home and, and participate more in, in the family life. And family does seem to be more and more important. Um, you know, I was a child of the 60s and 70s, and it seems like it was, um, you know, mom was at home, but my dad worked all the time. And yeah. um, so it seems, you know, it seems now that, that there's a, a resurgence of Let's have mom and dad and the family participating, raising the children together. And then those of us who happen to, you know, get the hand, I guess, the, you know, we got handed the, well, you're going to be a single mom and work three jobs, <laughs> you know, and do it well. And because that was my story. And it was to this day, it's like, wow, I wish I could have been a sing, uh, not a single mom, but a mom who got to stay home and take care of her kids. You know, that was like, obviously mm -hmm. my fantasy that, you know, it didn't happen. While moms who did stay home, they were probably going, wow, I wish I was out there, you know, working, when the reality is, you know, it, it's better to have a balanced life. But uh, the direct sales, and again, like you said, you can sell almost anything. Uh, you know, in a in a relationship marketing, and you said to go to the directsalesassociation.org to check yeah. out 
at the DSA.org to check out any opportunity that you're looking at because there are some that are probably much better than, than others and some that where the financial structure is not as um, good as others. I mean, there, so you do have to do that research that Vanessa yeah. talked about because I think that's really important. Just like if you were looking at it, if you were going to work for a company, you'd want to know, is this a stable company? How do they treat their employees? How do they treat, you know, how does this company treat its people? Um, because you are the face of the company and you mm -hmm. want to be rewarded for promoting it in whatever way that you promote it. So I will definitely put the DSA.org into the show notes. So before I let you go, um, where can people find out more about uh, you, Vanessa? They could go to my website, which is inspiredbyvanessa.com, um, and you could be able to see more about me and the things that I'm doing. Um, I'm going to be traveling more. I have a, a book that's out now that's on pre-order that's doing absolutely amazing. It's called Breaking a Cycle of Brokenness. Um, and, oh, my God. And so I'm getting so many <laughs> inundated, I guess you should say, because now I'm no longer afraid to share my story. Um, so I can be found at inspiredbyvanessa.com. I can be um, the same thing as my email, but it's inspiredbyvanessa at gmail.com. Um, I'm on social media. Um, you can find me on Facebook at inspiredbyvanessa.com, no, inspiredbyvanessa, on um, Instagram, inspiredbyvanessa. The only thing about Periscope and Twitter, the characters, is Inspire Vanessa. So it's okay. Inspire Vanessa. Mm -hmm. I'll put those in the show notes. That You just said something that I think is really important because I've been struggling with exactly what you just said. I am no longer afraid to share my story. Oh, yeah. And that afraid. is something that, that has been weighing on my mind heavily lately. It's like, <laughs> what are you, what, you know, you don't want people to know what. You know, that mm -hmm. you were stupid and you made made the wrong choice in the men that you decided to have children with. I mean, how many millions of people make that mistake, you right. know? Right. And, and other people in your life have done bad things. You didn't do those bad things. It's just they're related to you, you know? Mm -hmm. And so it's like, what is the, what is it about your story that you're afraid of? Because sometimes the things that we're so ashamed of are the very things that are would help somebody else to know hey we're human and mm -hmm. and it actually could inspire just like you inspired by Vanessa because mm -hmm. whatever your story is it, it you listen to it and you say wow Vanessa's mm -hmm. like me yet she overcame that by whatever or wow isn't that inspiring that she took this path this journey and now she's here and i can see hope and i think you know, that, that is so wonderful interesting that you said that because inspired by vanessa means empowerment that speaks to your soul oh okay cool <laughs> <laughs> well i'm i think that's it's cool so because um, you are an inspiration, and and you have you have connected to some part of you know to my soul because I'm like going, you know what? I don't need to feel ashamed anymore. No, you don't. No, so, you do not. No, so that's not. really a cool message that I got, and <laughs> and that's just from this conversation. Think about the people listening, if it happened to for me, one person, just think mm -hmm. that means that there's probably other people out here, out there in, in the, you know, atmosphere, and maybe they got that in, inspiration too. So really, Inspired by Vanessa is really the most beautiful name you could have ever come up with. That's really cool. Thank you. Thank you. My, um, my daughter. Um, it was interesting because when 
I decided to just say, you know, I'm going to really take this full leap and go into business. Um, my daughter, she said, Ma, you know, you already always inspire somebody else. Why don't you just call it Inspired by Vanessa? And I said, whoa, that makes sense. And so I just always think about the things and the messages that I share. Um, it's from a place because I experienced it because you can't talk about anything that you haven't been through, right? Um, right. So when I, even when I wrote my book, my book, I held on to that book for the longest. And so once I made a decision to just say, you know what, go ahead and share this with other people. And my goodness, we were contacted by so many people letting me know just because I shared you know, and on social media, it was on um, a blab series that I did for the month of May to shadow, to not to shadow, but just to spotlight other ladies. Just to, what are your stories? What did you, what allowed you to be broken? But what did you do to overcome that brokenness? And, and you know what I mean? Because I want people to know that it's not about Vanessa because she wrote the book. It's about other people to let them know that they have done and been through some things, but they overcome it, and you can too. And so that's what's based on the book of what I've been through in my life, the things that I want my children to go through, and it started with a prayer. That's all it did. It started with a prayer for me to break the cycle with my children, and the book, it turns into a book, and I just didn't know that breaking a cycle was going to take it to say, you know, I'm breaking a cycle because not only are you the first one in this, your family to break the cycle, but you're also going to be the first one to be able to be a successful entrepreneur uh, uh, of sharing your message. And so I've learned so much in this journey. So if you just get in tune with who you are and to be able to unapologetically share your story with other people and just be so transparent with it, just be transparent. They just want you. There's nobody else that, that could be a better version than you. So be authentic, be you, and just let it flow because your mess of a message could be able to inspire the next person because we all got some mess in our life, but it's a message behind the mess. Wow, that is that is truly inspired by Vanessa. And with that, <laughs> Vanessa, I want to again say thank you. I really appreciate it. Oh, you are so welcome. I thank you so much for this opportunity. I truly, truly do. This is Tammy Patzer. Go make it a beautiful day. Thanks for listening to Business Innovators Radio. To hear all episodes featuring leading industry influencers and trendsetters, visit us online at businessinnovatorsradio.com today.